everyone, this is the Insomniac GM. And today I want to talk to you guys about Thaco. Now, I hear a lot of people attack Thaco, saying that it's too confusing, it's too hard, and many other different things I hear about it. Well, I want to show you guys it's not as weird as you think. It's Honestly, I feel it runs the game a lot smoother. And once I show you, you can still stick with your own method. You know, nobody's going to break down your door and arrest you or anything. But I just want to show you that it doesn't deserve all the hate it gets. So in this situation, I'm going to be using Old School Essentials. Now, we'll use this character for this sheet and this character for this sheet. So, let's look over at what these characters' armor classes should be. Now, we have a armor class of 8, if I can find the 8 side here. And then over here, we have a armor class of 7. So, now, let's say this magic user, for some odd reason, decides... Like, it's out of spells, this magic user decides they're going to go after this thief with a dagger. So, we look over here. Our character's armor, or Thaco, is 19. So, creature's armor class is 7. Well, you don't need to do the math. We need to roll a 12 or lower. Okay? Or 12 or higher. So, we got a 16. So our, rope, our mage successfully hits the thief. Now let's do it the other way around. Our rogue has a 19 in Thaco. 15. Armor class is 8. So we need an 11 or higher. We succeed. Now we can just do this again really quickly. Uh, let's just say this character goes to attack that. 13, we succeed. It, it's very, it's a lot more faster, it's a lot more smoother. Now, let's go with a monster instead this time. So, I'm just going to open to a random page, I'm not going to go anything too crazy. We got a drow. So, the drow's Thaco is 19. And its armor class is a 4. So, this guy, Rogue, goes to attack. We got a 2. So that's going to fail. But, because it's a 4, look over here. We need to roll a 15 or higher. Okay, let's have this Drow attack. We got a 13. So, its stack goes 19. 19 minus the 7. That is a 12. So this draw successfully hit with a 13. OCC or OC that yeah, OSE pre-records this down. You can pre-record it down if you want. It's as easy as that. You just roll and you see if it matches with the the attack value matrix. Uh, let's look at another monster. We'll go the Centaur. So its armor class is five. Thief goes to attack it, go to 14, 19 minus 5, it's 14, we successfully hit it. It doesn't seem as complicated as what other people make it sound. Now, if you still want to compare Thaco to newer editions, I'm going to actually take my girlfriend's 5th edition character, and we'll run it through that. So... Let's say the monster she's attacking has an armor class of 14. So now, okay, I got a natural 20, but now we got a 9. So we look, 9 plus your proficiency bonus of 2 is 11. 11 plus, let's say this is a duck space attack, because that's the way her character is more focused towards. You add 2. So she got a 13, so she misses. We are now adding more steps to this. Once again, 
I'm not forcing you to use Thaco. I'm not telling you that Thaco is better. I'm just telling you Thaco does not deserve the hate it gets. We are literally doing more steps in the other editions. Now, what happens if your DM wants to keep the monster's armor class a secret? Well, once, once again, we'll go the random, we'll say a crocodile this time. We now do it in reverse order. So this crocodile's armor class is a five. Okay. Well. There. It's now a five. So because of that, the player needs to roll their die. And we know the monster's armor class. We don't tell them it's five. They roll. They say, oh, I got a 16. Well, if the DM keeps their notes and knows it's a 19, they just subtract the five. So it becomes 14. Yeah, sorry. It becomes a 15. They successfully hit. You don't even need to tell them what the monster's armor class is. It's that easy. Um, me personally, I love Thacko. I feel it makes the game run a lot faster and smoother for me, but I can understand that people are more used to adding in their games. I just wanted to bring attention to this, that it's not as hard as people make it out to sound. Especially if you have it pre-written down on here, you know. Um, I got some character sheets over here that aren't finished being filled out. Where this guy here, he has a Thacko of 17. Okay. You just keep subtracting. So he is better. This dwarf has better Thacko than this thief. And it just changes the whole thing. Like if you go with a crocodile that has a th uh, armor class of 5, the dwarf has a much better chance of hitting it than the thief. 12. 14. But I won't keep beating the topic over the head. I just wanted to let you guys know it, it's not that bad. But I hope this video was helpful. I hope you can understand where I'm coming from with us. Well, take care. See you next time.